friends, it's me, Mrs. B. I'm outside in my yard. It's at dusk, which means it's not daylight and it's not night. It's right in that in-between stage after dinner, probably bath and story time for most of you. I'm under one of the most beautiful trees in our yard. I'm not gonna show it to you right now though because right now it's really not so beautiful. There's nothing on it. In fact, when you look at it, you think, whoa, it might even be like dead. It's not though, it's still sleeping. It's still dormant. I'll show you in a couple of weeks and maybe we can watch it burst into bloom together. In the meantime, I wanna to talk to you about the fact that it's springtime for real. Last Sunday was Easter and Jesus rose from the grave and is living again among his friends. And I think a lot about that when I look at things like bulbs. You know, the bulbs are brown and there's nothing really special about them. And then you put them in the ground and then little shoots come up. Well, I can even show you, or rather Mr. B can show you. He's gonna take some closer up shots and you're gonna see a whole bunch of bulbs coming up. Some of them are daffodils, and some of them are tulips, and some of them are hyacinths. But they all have the same thing in common. You put this brown, ugly bulb in the ground, and then you let it sit there and sit there and sit there, and then all of a sudden, one day, it starts to come up through the dirt, and then the next thing you know, it's got these beautiful flowers on them. So it's a it's a nice way to think about the cycle of life that in the winter time it kind of gets gray and dark and you think that the beautiful weather is never going to come again and then all of a sudden Easter comes and Jesus comes back to life and so we think about new life again and then we see the flowers in the bulbs that we planted last fall come to life again as well. I think it's a really good reminder of how life sometimes has its ups and downs. Sometimes it's low and dark, and then other times it's wonderful and beautiful and we celebrate. So I think that Lent, remember a couple weeks ago I talked about Lent being like a whole year long with the pandemic. I think we're starting to see some light at the end of the tunnel. A lot of people are getting vaccinated and I think that if we all just keep doing our jobs to keep everybody safe, I think that we're gonna notice that spring really will come. So we're gonna watch more things grow around my yard this spring, and hopefully by summer, everything will be in bloom. Let's have a quick prayer. Dear God, we thank you for the circle of life. We thank you for all the ways that you love us and all the ways that you show you love us. We thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, who came and lived among us and died and then came back to life again and now lives with you in heaven. And we have that Holy Spirit that helps us be good people every single day, making good decisions. We thank you for the life you give us. We ask you to bless all those we love and all those that no one loves. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, friends, it's starting to get a little chilly, and I think Mr. B's arms are getting tired from holding the camera, so I'm going to sign off now. Bye, friends!